Hi guys, so today I'm doing a makeup tutorial inspired by Rihanna and I don't know if you guys have seen but the past I would say like week or so there have been these three pictures of Rihanna that have been going around Twitter like all over the place and they're talking about her makeup and how amazing the makeup looks and I saw one of the pictures and I was like I have to recreate that look like that I I need to do it it's so beautiful like I love this look so much so I decided that I would recreate it for you guys so this is the picture that I'm going off of it has a very deep lip which I just fell for I got a text um I just fell for that deep lip and those eyes with like the purpley and like the maroon kind of colors I love it so if you guys want to find out how I did this look be sure to keep on watching Okay, so very first thing, I'm starting off with a clean and moisturized face. Now I'm going in with some Smashbox primer and applying that all over my face. And just by the way, I am pretty sick right now, so my voice sounds a little bit odd, but that's why. Um, next, I'm going in and lightly filling in my eyebrows. And Rihanna's eyebrows were not super dark or anything in these photos. They were just kind of very light, very natural. So that's the kind of look I'm going for with my eyebrows today. Next thing, I'm going in with some foundation. Now, the foundation that I have been loving lately is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. So, I'm just applying that with a damp beauty blender and just blending that in all over my face. I actually went in and did a second layer of foundation just because her face looked pretty flawless so I wanted to make sure mine looked like that. Next I'm going in with some Maybelline Fit Me concealer and just applying that underneath my eyes to brighten it up and I also apply that kind of on the high points of my face. I don't think I showed that but I did that just because the sort of inner parts of her face were a lot brighter than the outer portion so that's what I tried to recreate. Next thing I'm doing is going in with some more powder underneath my eyes just to kind of set that. Next I will be priming my eyelids using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and this will just help keep all the shadows on since we are going to be applying a lot. And then I'm just powdering that just so the eyeshadows blend better. Now I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and the shade called Milk Chocolate and I'm just going to be using that as a transition shade in my crease and just kind of blending that in with a big fluffy brush. Now I'm going in with sort of a maroonish kind of reddish brown kind of color and applying that on the outer corner of my eye because the outer parts of her eyes were kind of almost reddish which I really really loved. So I'm just kind of starting with that shade just kind of patting it almost onto my crease. I'm not doing a whole ton of like dragging I'm doing a lot of padding because I wanted this to be very pigmented then I'm just going in and blending the top out just a little bit so it doesn't get too high next I'm going in with this purple shade from this palette and it was sort of the inner half of her crease that was very kind of purpley blue it was very shimmery and very very pretty so I'm going in with that shade and just kind of applying that in the inner half of my crease area This shade is perfect because it's not too much, but it still gives that purpley blue tone to the look. Now going in with an even more red, like deep cherry color, I'm going over that red on the outside and just deepening that up and making it more of a true red rather than like a maroon kind of color, you know what I mean? Then I'm going in and blending again just to be sure that it doesn't get in places that it's not supposed to be. Now I'm going in 
with a very champagne, very, very, very shimmery kind of color. And her eyelids were very shimmery. So I thought that this would be a perfect color to put there. Kind of all over the inner half of her eye was very shimmery. So even like in that inner corner, but like the upper inner corner crease kind of area, just like everything was very shimmery. So I thought that this color matched really, really well. Now I'm going in with this white chocolate color, which is pretty much just like a true white. And just applying that on my brow bone, more just to clean it up rather than highlight, because she didn't have a super strong highlight. I just wanted to make sure that all the colors were very cleaned up up there. Now going in with sort of a pinky shimmery color. This is more of a light pink color, but it was super shimmery. So I put that right on the inner tear duct, and then also going a little bit down on the inner half of my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to be using a NARS black eyeliner, and I'm going to be tight lining my eyes and then also applying this on my waterline. And her eyes were very black. Her waterline specifically was very, very black and very dark. So I just put this there just to deepen everything up a lot. And I also put this on my upper lash line, just kind of smudged as close as I could to the lashes, just to make sure that the lashes looked as thick as possible. Because she didn't have a ton of eyeliner on the top of her eyelids, but you could tell that it was very black and very dark and thick. Now I'm just brushing away some of that excess eyeshadow that fell down just for a more cleaner look. And then now I'm going in and putting it on the waterline, like I said. I went over this a few times just to be sure that it was very, very black. Because she almost, you couldn't even see any skin color on the lower half of her eyes. Everything was just very dark and kind of all one. So I also put this onto my lower lash line, not just the waterline. I kind of smudged it onto the lashes as well. And then I went in with a black shadow and I just kind of helped to smudge that out and also just deepen everything up. You, I really did not want to be able to see any skin. I wanted it all to be very black because that's how hers was. And somehow the rest of the blending of the underneath shadow and the mascara got cut out. But I just finished blending that and then also put on some mascara. And then I'm going in with this sort of orangey cheek color and I'm putting this on my lower cheeks. She didn't have it a ton on her apples and it wasn't very pink. It was very orange and it was very low on her face. So that's what I did. It was kind of like a line very low on her face. And I actually really, really liked the way that it turned out. So if you're trying to achieve that look, it's really easy to do. Just put it lower on your face. Next, I'm going in with just a tad bit of highlighter. She didn't have a super glowy look, but of course her skin was like perfect, so it looked glowy. So I wanted mine to kind of match that. So I just applied that kind of in the center of my face. Now we're going in with lips, which is a super fun part. So first, I'm just taking a very neutral lip liner. This is Sore from MAC. And I didn't have one that matched the lip liner, I mean the lipstick that I was using perfectly. So I just used a neutral one and it worked really well. But I just wanted to make sure that the lipstick would stay on. So I decided to line my lips. Next comes the fun part. So I'm using this NYX Simply Vamp um, lipstick and I believe it's in the color um, I'm not exactly sure I'll put it on the screen right now though um, and so I just kind of applied that onto my lips and made sure that the outside lines were very cleaned up because hers obviously were not messy hers was very perfect so I made sure to make sure that that was very clean next I'm going in with that same black shadow and just kind of applying that onto my lips because it wasn't turning out quite as dark as I wanted it to, so I just kind of darkened it up with the eyeshadow. That's kind of weird, but it's a really cool trick, and it works. Okay, guys, so that was the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Before you go, be sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. It was super fun for me to film. I love doing celebrity inspired looks and just looks that are based off of something because I have something to go off of and I just think it's so much fun. So let me know how you like this video and be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll talk to you guys very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!